Welcome in on Wednesday night. You know, just because the Shockers haven't been beaten by a Missouri Valley team doesn't mean they have not been tested, at least not after tonight. Wichita State welcoming Loyola of Chicago into Coke Arena. Losers of four of their last five. Shots just not falling early on. Ron Baker's three. That's got to go in, right? Nope, but to Kale Cotton. He's got him on the cleanup job. Early two-point lead for the Shocks. Fred Van Vliet. There's the three. The trademark rainbow trajectory hits. Shockers getting a little breathing room before the half. Cotton finds room in the paint, makes good on it with the jam. And just seconds left on the clock in the first half. Van Vliet. This thing hits the rafters. He had 16 in the first half alone. Wichita stayed up six at halftime. Second half now. The Shocks running away. Fast break for Ron. Baker slamming it home. 38-30 at that point, Wichita State. Under seven to go. Shocks up 11, but not satisfied. They find Van Vliet again. He had 27 tonight, a career high. And it's a 58-47 to victory for the Shockers as they are now 19-2. and They are also 9-0 and in the Valley for the second time in school history. Rachel Kilmer now live at the Roundhouse. Hey, Rachel. Yeah, hey Shane, after the game, Loyola head coach Porter Mosier, he was visibly frustrated saying, you know, there's really not much you can do when you have a guy like Fred Van Vliet going off for a career high 27 points. He said that the biggest dagger that the Shockers had wasn't the quantity of buckets, but the timeliness of them. Fred Van Vliet was, was dynamite. He kind of, he looked like the one guy for sure from the tip that was ready to play. Early on guys missing layups and just easy things that we usually don't do. The rhythm of the game just wasn't flowing for us, so I just took a little bit more on this to, to be more aggressive, and uh, I was able to find some good opportunities there. Timely shots by, by Baker and Van Fleet. It's just the same script. Man, uh, that, that shot at the end of the half, and some of the shots, you know, Baker and, and Van Fleet, just timely shots, and uh, you got to give them credit. That's what great players do, is, and they keep doing it. <laughs> Now, usually after games, it's kind of difficult to get coaches and players to talk about the next game because they are very much focused on the now, the moment. But that was not the case tonight. That is because their upcoming game is a road game this Saturday, a top 25 matchup at Northern Iowa. Reporting live at Coke Arena, Rachel Kilmer, Cake Sports. Thank you, Rachel. And there were some special guests tonight at the Shocker game. Royals pitcher Brandon Finnegan and outfielder Lane Adams getting to participate in some shoot around, a little three point contest out there. The Shockers actually tried to recruit Adams as a basketball player before he decided to pursue a pro career in baseball. The Royals signed autographs for fans earlier at Academy Sports and Outdoors. You can see that video right now on cake.com.